there is the fly uh, cutting operation of the Stepcraft CNC. It's fly cutting that or cutting, whatever you want to call it. You can speed up the, the process in there. Right now it's doing uh, 400 inches per minute or 40. I guess that's 40, not 400, yeah, 40. So well, you can see the process going on both sides. The cone that's moving right there, the yellow one, that's the indicator of where it's going. And you can see right here, it's doing exactly the same movements as the cone. So yep, that's it. You can pretty much see it working. And that's basically the Steph Craft demo I wanted to to prepare as a video so you could uh, be sure that whatever you get it, it's a perfectly fine working machine. You can bid on it with confidence. And I've still got, I don't know, the manuals and stickers that came with it. As you can see right here, there's some stickers and an inventory sheet and some different manuals, assembly manual, assembly, easy build assembly manual. That's the Stepcraft 3 CNC system and operating instructions, the first steps, and uh, uh, quick start guides. So, yep, uh, shipping will probably be expensive somewhere around, I don't know, 150, 200 bucks. But that's it, it comes with a Dremel 4000 uh, rotary tool, which is off right now, because as I said, I was just doing a, uh, a air cut demo. You can see it working right there. Both of them. Okay, let's go to both of them have somewhere around i'd say uh, i don't know a couple of hundred hours of use you can see it operating there and there's the other side in there ah that of course you've got the switch which you can see works if you reset it here even though it's been uh, that's the, if you push it it kills it if you turn it clockwise it will be reset and ready to work, but now you gotta go to the software and say reset and then start and it starts again exactly where it finished. So as you can see, it works beautifully. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, cable management issues in here that should probably be solved with some, uh, I don't know, uh, if you just want a redneck engineer the hell out of it with some uh, tape with some duct tape or whatever you could just put some here and make it look nicer uh, I've got a couple of zip ties in there because sometimes it you try to uh, get out of its place but yep that's pretty much it it works fine and that's the only modifications to the wheel I've done to it so yep that's it see you